In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Gmund paper book notebook. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a paper test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this notebook coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. So this is the Gmund paper book. For those of you that don't know, Gmund is a mill in Germany, and they make a lot of really excellent niche sort of stationary grade papers. They make the blocker paper that we use in our Papermind blocker hardcover notebooks. They do a lot of sort of high tech stuff, a lot of high design type stuff with paper. It's a very cool company. They do a lot of innovative stuff. This for instance is a Gamun's beer paper, which is made, I think with like the hops or something. You kind of see those flecks in there. Uh, this is actually really good with fountain pens too. But anyway, very cool German mill, pretty high quality stuff. Let's go into the, the specs of the book. So the paper book is a, what they call the MIDI size, and it's 170 millimeters by 240 millimeters. So just to give you some perspective, um, this is a Kakuyo auxiliary book, a B5 size. So you can see it's a little bit smaller than that. And then this is a paper mined Passipede cream A5 size. So you can just see it's definitely bigger than an A5, but relatively smaller than a B5. So I think it's, I don't know, I enjoyed using this. It's definitely a bit bigger than I typically like, but I do like that it doesn't swallow up a whole desk like an A4 notebook. In terms of the specifications here, it does come in this little plastic case here, and you can see again the size. You can see the ruling here, which is a dot grid. Now when I measure this, it's a little bit more than six millimeters. It's like six and a half, almost to seven. Definitely a bigger dot grid. There's 160 pages. It has four dedicated index pages, which I'll show you. I thought they were strange. It's thread stitched, very good quality binding, and it's made in Germany because of course it's made by Gmund. Okay, so I'm gonna take off the belly band here. Now we have this little uh, Gmund logo here, which is sort of kind of has like a rainbow color when you see it in the light. This is sort of their shield or I don't know what you call it, but you can see like the the diamonds in there for Bavaria. Um, pretty cool. And then again, we have that same kind of rainbow hot foil on the back. Really nice. Now the paper, this particular one is called Lime. This is like a thick card. It feels really nice. And then we have a linen sort of wrapped spine here with a little French crease down the edge. It looks pretty good. You know, the construction in terms of the covers, basically this board is just glued onto this um, part that covers the spine. I actually think it, it does look pretty good, you know, but in terms of an elegant construction, I'm not sure about that. We have a flat spine headband and footband in white. It's very high quality. Now we have a paste down here, place for your name, and then we go right into the, the dot grid here. Again, it's like six and a half, almost seven. So definitely wider than I typically like. You will see it does lay very flat. It's a very good quality, flexible binding. I mean, you do get some resistance because this paper is 120 GSM. Now this is Gamun's Bauhaus paper, which is very high quality paper. In this 120 GSM weight, it works very nicely with fountain pens. When you get into some of the lower ones, it still works pretty well with fountain pens, but it you will see a bit more bleeding, but there's no issue with that here. Now, we mentioned index pages and there's four of them. This is an index page. I don't know personally what I'm really supposed to do with it. It's perforated for some reason. And there's four of them, you know, evenly spaced throughout the book. It's, I, I've never seen really anything like it. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't really have a use for it, but whatever. Now going to the, the, the back here, there's no pocket. There's no bookmark with it, this. It's really just blank pages and those index pages. Now let's take a look at the, the paper and do a paper test here. The face of this looks really good. Just, I would say, zero complaints here. Well, I guess I should point out that the 2.4 millimeter Pilot Parallel 
that does have some feathering. It was just really wet for some reason. But six millimeter, even with the double pass, no problem. Namiki Emperor Broad, uh, Monte Grappa Extra Auto, uh, Broad Italic, all look pretty good. No issues with the roller balls. The Pilot, I, I take that back, the Pilot V10, 1.0 millimeter, we do see a little bit of feathering, but pretty minor. Everything else looks really clean and nice. Now on the back, no bleed through except for that 2.4 millimeter pilot. I just think it was super, I'm not sure why, but it was riding extremely wet that day. But again, nothing from any of the other fountain pens. You can see the Pilot V10. It doesn't make it all the way through, but you could see, you know, if you really tried, you could get ink through there, but overall really good. Even the Stettler permanent marker and the Pilot oil drawing pen didn't really penetrate the paper. The Sharpie came through a little bit and the Copic came through a, a decent amount. So overall, very good performance. Any kind of normal fountain pen you would use with this will write really nicely with it. Now the paper has a very nice texture to it. It's a natural paper. It feels really good to write on. I like that they didn't print the dot grid too dark, so it's not too distracting. Just, yeah, overall, it's, this is a really nice notebook. So what are my pros and cons for the Gamund paper book notebook? Well, the biggest pro for me is definitely the 120 GSM Gamund Bauhaus paper. This is a very nice paper to write on. It works quite well with fountain pens. It has a nice texture. It feels natural. Uh, very nice paper overall. Now, I also do like the design of this notebook. The materials feel very nice. I like the sort of linen binding and then the thick board. Um, it looks very nice. I also like this sort of big size. It's quite a bit bigger than a A5, which is what I, I normally like. Um, I do like a variety and this was kind of fun to use this this larger size. It doesn't get too big where it's swallowing up your whole desk, but pretty nice. They did a good job with the printing also. They didn't make the dot grid too dark, uh, which is really nice. You know, Gamund, they know what they're doing with paper. It's a pretty cool niche mill, and so they they know how to do really good quality paper projects, and that shows here. Now, in terms of cons, uh, the biggest con is getting these in the United States. I bought this directly from Gamun's stationery shop. There are some places in Europe that carry these, and I've also seen them in, in at a store in Canada, um, but that makes shipping more expensive. So with a retail price around 32 euros, a bit less, I think 27 with excluding VAT, but then you add, you know, 10, 20 dollars to have it shipped from Europe. It is pretty expensive and it's a little bit harder to get, which is unfortunate. One thing I would say is that the binding is, you know, it's, it's flexible for sure. And because of the size, you are able to get it to lay flat. However, in the beginning and the end of this book, you, I'm using a bone folder just to get those pages down because they are so thick. So even though this is significantly larger than that Hieronymus notebook that I reviewed a while ago, the pages still take a bit of work to get flat, especially in the beginning and the ends of the book, uh, which just makes it a little bit less comfortable. But that's pretty much it. Do you guys have this notebook? Do you like this notebook? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more fountain pen, paper, and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much, and until next time. <laughs>